Hey guys, this is SJ back at you with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to shut down Windows computers, specifically Windows 7 computers uh, in Kali Linux remotely. Um, now this uh, attack, you aren't going to, it's not really any, ha there's no hacking involved. It's just um, uh, user sharing or Samba. We're going to be using Samba to do this. Uh, so basically what we're going to be typing is uh, you're going to open up a command terminal like I have here and after you open that up you're going to type in net rpc shutdown dash f dash capital I and now here you're going to put the IP address you're going to put 192.168.0 now this is a local IP address uh, I don't know um, how it will work for a remote shutdown but um, I do know it works over a network, so you would put the IP address of your uh, target. And then after you do that, you would put U for username or just the user, and you would put the password. And then you would put the percentage sign. And then after you put the username, you would put the password. Now, here uh, what we're doing is the so I'm going to explain it. NetRPC uses Samba to um, execute um, this. So if you don't have Samba installed in Kali Linux, which most of uh, the distros that come pre-installed with it, if you don't have it, all you have to do is type apt-get install s a m b a or Samba, and now uh, what this net RPC does it basically just uses Samba to shut down the computer. Um, the F parameter right here that means forcefully. It's forcefully shutting down the computer. Uh, after that, uh, you press I. That's the IP address and make sure it's capital. That's you're defining the destination of where the um, computer or the program is going to execute in, and you put the IP address there and the u is the user along with the password so you would put the username along with the password and the percentage sign is just there to separate them separate the two so now all you do is just go ahead and press enter wait for it to execute and as you can see it said that the uh, shutdown of the remote machine uh, will succeed it now, if we were to put something else besides the uh, the IP address that it is um, not, or just put, I just put a random one. It would say that the host is unreachable or login failure. Now, this one, the, that IP address uh, 15192.168015 is my machine, and um, that was just a login failure. Now, that if that was a login failure, it would say that, or it would say the host is unreachable. Now, let's say if we were to put uh, something like, um, I don't know, three, connection refused, it completely refused the connection. Now, what if we were supposed to do, if we were to do something like just zero, unreachable. Now, uh, most things like, uh, like um, Android or you can't shut down um, things like this. If it doesn't have Samba in it, then it uh, won't execute. Now, I don't know if it works on Windows 8 or Windows 10, but I do know that it does work on Windows 7. So um, by doing this, it uh, works perfectly fine with Windows 7. Uh, I will look for a way to do it on uh, Windows 8 and Windows 10, uh, but until I find out that, then um, I'll share with you guys how to do that. But until then, Guys, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.